side to side to tell my trouble come alive. So today we're back at Chiba Hut to see our good friends Darcy and Hunter. And if you don't remember them, uh, we'll put a link down in the description uh, for a video that we did with them a couple weeks ago um, about their new restaurant, Chiba Hut, which they opened up just a few weeks ago. Uh, but today we're here to talk to them to kind of see how opening was, um, how exciting that was for them. Um, how nerve-wracking it was when they got the call, which we'll talk about here in a bit, um, and how they are dealing with the rapidly changing times today. And uh, so come on in. So we were here a couple weeks ago before you opened up. Yep. <laughs> and um, you were excited. This project you've been working on for how long? Oh, that's almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. I can't, that's a long time. Right out of a year and a half. <laughs> and um, take me to opening day. Oh, wow. Opening day was a little nerve wracking. I woke up uh, very anxious, very nervous, yeah. just trying to see what was going to happen, you know, because we have all this COVID-19 stuff going yeah. on. And we were just really nervous. We wanted it to be successful and great, especially for our employees who have worked so hard during training, yeah. right? And of course, we've been working on this for a long time, so we wanted it to be successful. We get in here, the energy's high, our employees are excited to be here. Yeah. You know, we really popped off at lunch hour, people were coming in, we had really good friends of ours coming in, you know, first thing. Um, it was doing really great. And we expected to do big numbers right out the gate. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not what it yeah. that didn't happen. <laughs> so um, business was still good. I mean, we still did a few grand. We were happy with that, yeah. you know, because we're still in a new market. Um, day two rolled around. I mean, numbers stayed consistent. We were really happy with that. We're building up. And then day two, at the end of the day, we were told we had to close our lobby down. <laughs> so you got a call from corporate yep. on the second day. And you are yep. franchised. Yes. So like, yeah. They don't control but at the same time you're operating under their flag yeah, what we used to call guidance, right. in, in the rest in the in the hotel world mm -hmm. um, so take me to where you got the call okay I was sitting um, at my desk in the back office here <laughs> so this is where you were when you got the call yeah um, this two-year baby that you had just opened up the day before yeah. and then you got the call just a little over a week ago today tell me about that you know we had been open for two days and I'm sitting here I'm doing financials it had just popped up in my email and of course then we get a phone right. call and the whole gist of it was is that they were shutting down our lobbies we were to close pretty much effectively immediately the next day going to go orders only um, you know it wasn't mandated by the state yet but last Thursday yeah. it was as you know and if you know me I take everything as a personal failure so it wasn't like oh COVID-19 or oh she like it was like oh I failed somehow yeah. because yeah. now I have to tell 20 plus people that they don't have a job and that was really hard for me because I care so much about my people yeah not only is this my baby but they're also my babies like you yeah. know we train them like they were doing so good and then I had to cut it down to two people. And wow. that was the hardest thing I've ever done, especially when you're first open and you're so excited. And yeah. then you have to be like, oh, sorry, like you no longer have a job. That, that was devastating. Yeah. I think I cried for like three hours that night. Um, it was really hard. I came into the store the next day. I didn't have my head on. Like I yeah. was just, 
all discombobulated. I couldn't even open the store effectively because I just, I was just all over the place. Yeah. And because it, it's hard. And when you're a business owner, it's on you, you know? And to tell people like that you don't have any place for them anymore, that's really tough. Can't wait to bury the ruins of my mistakes to only keep it the truth, yeah. There's a treasure out there Just everyone should just have to choose, yeah Here it is a wisdom I must say Is that a mark, freedom of mind I'm going away Here we are nine days after opening, yep. eight days after there hasn't been anybody dining in this beautiful restaurant. Uh, what's carried you through? What's kept you from just giving up? Like, what is that thing that has allowed you to get up every day and to continue fighting for your dream? Honestly, at the end of all of it, it's my people because I promised them that they'd have something to come back to. So that's really my goal is to have, this has to be something that they can come back to. I've had several of them reach out to me and tell me that they miss us and that yeah. they love us and um, they're, they're grateful for us and you know, they, they want to come home. They keep saying they want to come home, they want to come back, they yeah. want to come back and they have to have something to come back to. So that's what I've been working towards is making sure they have something to come back to. That's yeah. what's kept me going basically. Yeah. So that's been your fuel. Yeah in your gas tank. Yeah. I remember you've shared with me several messages that you've gotten from your yeah. people and you're like, this is my dream. Yeah. I'm living my dream. These are my people. Yeah. Yeah. So in the midst of all of this chaos in the world of uncertainty, you're still living your dream. Yeah. And that's at the end of at, at the end of the day what you have to look at again is why you're doing it. And yeah. why you're doing it has to be your fuel. Um, I've prayed a lot and asked God a lot, like, what are we doing? What, what's the next step? Where do yeah. we go from here? I need a little bit of confirmation. I need something. And every time he always gives that to me in the form of my people reaching out and telling yeah. us that they love us and telling us that they want to come back and telling us they want to be here. They feel at home here. They can be themselves here. That's my why. That's my dream. And that's what I fight for every day is when I come in here, that's what I'm fighting for yeah. is those people. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So what's one thing for some other entrepreneur, some other business owner that's out there that's living their dream, but they're on the brink of giving up because this is just so hard. What is one thing that you can tell them to encourage them to give them hope? Um, I always go back to why I'm doing it. Always, always, always. Why am I doing this? Um, and kind of leading into that, lean on your people. Like, where is your tribe? Where are your people? Really lean on them and press into them. Um, you guys are actually part of my tribe. Yeah. I really lean on you. I talk to you pretty much daily. And Jessica, like I talk to you guys and I really, you know, try to communicate everything to you guys. And, you know, just find your tribe, lean into them and remember why you're doing it in the first place. Because that's always gonna be, that has to be your driving force. Because if you're just doing it for, I don't know, like other people or for yeah. money or for whatever other reason other than your actual why, like you're not, you're not going to be able to sustain long-term success. Yeah. It's not going to happen. So that's, that's awesome, Darcy. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're living your dream. Yeah, we are. Even it's, in the midst uh, of everything. <laughs> it doesn't look like what you saw. Mm -mm. It doesn't. I've got, you can see I've got chairs on tables and I've got no people in here, but I'm still living the dream. It doesn't, I don't think it always looks like what you think it's going to look like. Um, I, sometimes that comes later and that's kind of what also keeps me going is it'll come later. It's not, it's not what's happening right now, but it doesn't have to be permanent. So, yeah. no. I'd give you a high five, but you know, we'll do elbows. How about that? Is that allowed? I think it's, or that our feet. One of the two. I think we brought feet or something. Awesome. <laughs>
enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't done so already, and hit the subscribe button while you're at it. And if you uh, have not already, check us out at www.thefamilyflips.com. And if you're on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, mm -hmm. what a coincidence! So, so are we! we. <laughs> Links down in the description for those. Until next time, peace! peace.